Hi Virgo, this is Jeffrey. This is Rice Color. This is your reading for the month of May 2021. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering 30 minute readings for $30 through the end of the month of May. <clears throat> and See what's going on for you, Virgo. Okay. I'm getting, there's an anger that needs to be released. I'm feeling it. That's what I'm getting. Disappointment, heartbreak. Offer of healing. So this being said, and, and what I'm feeling, um, there's a certain amount of, there's an anger that you need to let go of. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little um, exercise. Okay, a situation, somebody upset us, somebody took something, somebody made us angry, somebody or something. Uh, you know, the thing about anger and the thing about a lot of negative emotion is that sometimes we don't express it fully and it's, it sits in our bodies. You could take this with a grain of salt, or, you know, or not. You know, either you're going to relate to this reading or you're not. I'm just, I'm just giving you what I'm getting. Okay, so you're in that place, right? Hanging on to anger is not good for your health. It's as simple as that. So, you know, maybe you've gone through and feel, felt the anger, but there's still a remnant of it sitting with you, which is what I'm feeling. <clears throat> okay, this is a very simple meditation. You go into your heart. If you put your feet firmly on the floor, this, that's very important. Put your feet firmly on the floor. If you decide, well, I have to do it my way. Put your feet firmly on the floor. If you want to sit in a cross-leg position, make sure your butt is right on the floor. Okay, the floor. The grass, the floor, okay? Go into your heart. You light your heart up. You see it as a flame. Huh? Perfect. A little bulb. Light the bulb. Allow the bulb go through. Let it get bigger. Let it get bigger. Let it be whatever color it wants to be. This is the love in your heart. Extend the love of your heart into your body, into your whole body. Let it get so big that it's bigger than your body, right? All you have to do is intend it. It's all you have to do. If you get vision, you get vision. If you get feeling, you get feeling. If you get nothing, you get nothing. It doesn't matter. Envision it. Pretend you're envisioning it. Let it get larger. This is the love energy. Send it through your body. Then radiate, radiate, like the sun, you don't take from the principle, you radiate as if you are a giant sun into the earth, through your heart, all the way through your body, throughout your butt, into the earth, connect to her, send love, receive love, loop it, loop, loopy loop, down, you receive, you know, and sometimes I get visions of flowers, like I'm sending roses and I get daisies back or whatever it, whatever it is, whatever comes up is beautiful, it's lovely. If it's color, if it's feeling, great. If it's nothing, that's great too. Back into your heart, go up to the angels, to God, send love, send love. They're all singing, they send it back, back and forth, loop it a few times. Then bring in the energy 
uh, the person or the people or the corporation or whatever, the entity that is making you angry, see this person or this situation as happy, as fulfilled, as abundant, as at peace. You don't have to mean it. Just pretend. See this person, let's say, that you're angry with as content, as fulfilled, as happy, as, you know, full, abundant. See them like that. Send kindness. You don't have to mean it. Send kindness, send love. They're in a bubble. They're floating around a bubble like in a balloon. Let them fly away. Let, them, let it float away. That's it. That's all you got to do. You know, if it comes up again, do it again. Do it again. It's more powerful when you do this with people you don't like. It's easy to do it with somebody you love, right? Your little dog, some kid, right? Easy. Your sister that you're crazy about, your best friend, easy. This is going to take some muscle. It's that simple. Because, you know, as I said it, I felt it leave. I felt it leave. Because if you're carrying the anger, it's not good for you. It's not good for you. Acknowledge it. I'm not saying don't acknowledge it. Acknowledge it, but you can't keep on festering and acknowledging it. It's almost like dressing a wound and taking the Band-Aid off and then dressing the wound and taking the Band-Aid off. All you're going to get is pus and it's going to turn into something. And it's like, I want you to be clear and clean of the wound. That's the point. That's the point. So change. Creativity. Okay. Because this is heartbreak, but it could also be creative thinking. Sort of like what I just gave you. The offer of love. The offer of healing. What a gift to be whole. What a gift to not have a festering wound. It doesn't belong to you. It's not yours. Put it in the bubble, see them happy, send them on the way. That's it. That's it. It doesn't, you don't have to write an email. You don't have to tell your best friend about how angry you are. Do this work. It works. Look, bottom line is, it works. And I want you to be happy and whole. So that's what I have to get for you this month, Virgo. Blessings. Blessings. You gotta go through it. A lot of reasons to be angry. I get it. I completely get it. You know, it's like finding a, a, a crappy piece of furniture on the street and then bringing it into your house and expecting it to be something other than what it is. Sometimes it's like, you know what? I had it in the house for like two weeks. It's, it's not really stable. It, you know, it doesn't really look good. I'm throwing it away. I'm throwing it away. Think of it like that, you know, until you can bring in what you actually desire which is like a beautiful piece of furniture that whatever you want to put on it will look beautiful on that, you know, you earned, that you received. Got me? Blessings.